Jamal Terrence is back to his old tricks, telling lies again to get off the hook because we stopped this opportunity from working with the YouTuber to scam newer victims again. Now I'm not here to defend anyone, I'm not even here to defend myself. I'm just here to dispute some lies and to remind you of some things. <laughs> Let's go! Firstly, if you're gonna watch this, please make time, watch it up until the end because as you guys know me, for everything I'm about to say, there's gonna be evidence. Secondly, if you hear banging noises and scraping noises and stuff, please excuse me, my gardeners are here, they are cleaning my yard and unfortunately this video cannot wait, it cannot wait. So. Let's start. Firstly, he sent me money for fuel. And as you guys can see here in the screenshot, it actually confirms that he is sending me money for fuel. But what I want you guys to pay uh, attention to is the fact that I'm saying here, I appreciate it. Now, what am I appreciating? I want him to play that voice note so that you guys can see that he offered to pay for my petrol to come to Cape Town. I never asked him for it. Me sending my banking details, that is just directing where the funds should go to. That is not asking for money. Now, when I told Marcus who made the video, listen, why don't you convert 1,500 Rand, which is what he gave me to come through the first time. And these are amounts that he gave out of his own. And then secondly, 1,000 Rand when I came for that interview that I did with him, right? Convert that to dollars and see if it's such a life-changing amount as he is making it out to be. Now, I need you guys to pay attention. Ne? They don't even make what Chris paid for me when he paid for my flights to come to PE. And if you look at it like this, it's exactly the same thing. If you want to see me and I didn't make plans of wanting to see you, you are going to pay to get me there. Unfortunately, when it comes to me and Chris, I told him I will save up. I didn't save up in the time that he wanted me there. So he just thought, yeah, let me pay for this myself and pay for it. He did. Now, why is he acting like I've never admitted this on lives before? Why is he acting like I've never said out of my own free will, he paid for my petrol to get there? Because then it won't make me look as bad as he is trying to make it out. Secondly, when it comes to that small TikTok clip that he was playing concerning that lady and her chronically ill husband, I just wanted to address this. Before Marcus Adrian posted this video, right? I gave the man the lowdown since the start. Listen, this is how me and Jamal met. He tried inboxing me previously through Instagram. I didn't pay attention because obviously I know what you want. Then this TikTok live happened. Now, what is so funny about this is that I posted about this live that I was going to do with this chronically ill patient and his wife together and raise funds for his medical bills. I posted this to my Instagram and I even asked my Instagram followers to come and come and donate something. And people came. Andrew even came and dropped some gifts. But why did Andrew not make a big fuss about it? But I digress. Andrew is not the focal point here. Let's keep it to Jamal. Why did Jamal come and gift these people? Because that is a public display, right? And you guys know, I'm not here for that. This is why I don't talk about the good that traders do. Because they do that for PR. And then also, I need you guys to understand, Jamal is a disgusting human being because while at the time when he made this 5,000 Rand payment straight to those people's bank accounts, he made it seem like it is coming out of the goodness of his heart. But Kante, look at how he's turning this much chronic illness against him to try and get back at me. Meanwhile, he never sent any money to me. Now guys, I ask, how disingenuous of Jamal mustn't it be to try and make it something else when I A posted about the TikTok live on Instagram and asked you guys still for help and B the evidence pointing exactly to what I'm saying going towards this couple because the husband is chronically ill he can't work the wife can't work either she must stay at home to take care of her husband and they have children so how is all of this checking out what i explained to marcus adrian in the first place yet he still goes ahead and posts this i don't understand what i also don't understand is that seeing that you had the explanation and he's trying to make it like something else you just sitting there you're not saying anything even though what i said to you clearly checks out and you know what's even nastier work you sitting there when he says i spoke highly of him can't he? i am just thanking him for a 5000 rand that he literally just sent 
to these people that isn't speaking highly of him i even said what they were going to use the money for that isn't speaking highly of him that is literally just saying thank you for your donation sir thank you guys true trader true trader true trader you're, really you're the best to you all you are literally helping them so much and I believe not only will this help like with the hospital bills and things like that. With that logic, Amos then spoke highly of everyone else that gifted this couple. Like they tried to kidnap me to force me to give them my crypto wallet to take the money out of my crypto wallet. Thirdly, he clearly made kidnapping allegations, right? And I must say this, Jamal clearly blinded this guy because if you have evidence as clear as day, why did you not go to the police? Or did you not go to the police? Because that was my suggestion in the first place. As you guys can see here, while I am being accused of being part of a kidnapping plan, I'm actually telling people, yay, don't hurt this man, let's get the police involved, let's get him to admit to his crimes, we have the proof, and then let's get him to commit to paying you guys back. Now, how would I help people plan a kidnapping and I want to get the police involved? It just doesn't make sense, it just doesn't make sense guys, but you know now, when it comes to this kidnapping, I want you guys to take a look at who sent this messages, right? It's a prime position trading. And prime position trading is Liam. Liam is a guy that used to work for him. And Liam is obviously agitated at him, which is why Liam was saying the things that Liam was saying. But why was Liam agitated? This is what people is not asking. As you guys can see here, Jamal promised to pay Liam a mere $300 and the thing is Liam didn't even get that maybe bro. but now you know that Liam actually stressed like that for his salary it kind of makes sense why he would say the things he is saying now I'm not justifying it I'm not saying it's right that he was wanting to kidnapping or even speaking a kidnapping about Jamal all I'm saying is I'm giving you guys context as to why he said those things and evidently even though Jamal will attempt to prove him and Liam is good now they were at odds now do you guys want to see more reasoning of them being at odds because obviously I must now can't just show you one time so we're gonna start here by him asking for the first time for that $300 right he was even so agitated that he jumped on lives on TikTok to come and expose Jamal now if you pay careful attention to the screenshot you would see there is a mention of Mike and Joe and they are from overseas why should they be in the live why is there any necessity for them to be in the live it's to prove that as employees they also didn't get paid from this Jamal Terrence guy and what was Liam Rolio and Zahir going through at the time with Jamal non-payment hence them going live with me to prove Jamal make people work before and they never paid them and then he did it again showing you guys a repetitive cycle but hey I was lying about him not paying his people and not paying refunds no now to come to the point yeah you guys see Liam is still asking for money and I need you guys to pay attention to what he's doing to me right now flipping the script as Marcus Adrian would call it he is now flipping the script on Liam because he's telling Liam oh you wanted this job and I just have to say whether Liam asked for the job or not you still employed him and because you employed him employees need to be paid why is this man begging so much for his money huh? now in case you guys didn't know and I'm sure Marcus Adrian didn't know either because he's just blindly following this man scamming through prop firms has been his MO when I confronted his employee about the repetitiveness in actions I got no response what he did with True Trader, he did with MFG as well or otherwise known as my forex guru he also scammed people through that prop firm and then he claimed to have paid refunds but when you pull up their website today you will see that it is gone Jamal never paid out those people I don't know about you but I'm not okay with earning a salary from fraudulently debited money and I most definitely wouldn't defend it it got so bad he contacted lawyers that never came he even threatened to take away my YouTube channel but in the end 
that never happened because he ended up blocking me. As for you, Marcus Adrian, I wanna talk content creator to content creator, man. I think it's really funny that you are now trying to verify what I am sending to you about Jamal, but you never verified what Jamal was saying and showing about me. You didn't bother to verify anything, regardless of the fact that for 99% of the time that he spoke about me, he showed absolutely no evidence. And I mean, as a scam exposer, when you don't see evidence, that is most when your questions increases, right? But you just sat there with a mouthful of teeth, my bro. Sometimes even rejoicing in what the man has to say. Even when I told you about that chronically ill patient and his wife, ranking on TikTok to try and make a living. You still gave this man your platform to spin it into something that it is not to try and attempt a get back at me. That's disingenuous, my brother. Again, he says I asked him for money, ne? Seeing that he posted those screenshots, you can more see there is a voice note where I said I appreciate it. Now, why would I say I appreciate it and then follow up with my banking details, my bro? I want you to ask him to play that voice note for you so that you can see that he offered that money. But you won't hear him play it. That is why I could only send you a screen recording and he couldn't actually stop and play that voice recording because it knows it hurts his narrative. While I have gone through the extra effort of today again, showing proof for what I am saying, this guy used your platform and he didn't have a single speck of proof for anything that they were saying, my bro. And the gag is, as a scam exposer, you let that slide, my bro. You were laughing with him. You were relishing in the false news, my bro. That's nasty work. <laughs> <laughs> what catches me is that sometimes the evidence is even in front of your face and you choose to look past it, especially that part where he is showing you a Nike slip for $3,100. If this was more something that was paid, right? Why would it still say there, transaction is still pending? Hmm? Didn't you find that funny? You didn't find that suspicious? <laughs> Yo, that whole video is just such a travesty, my bro. Because evidently, my bro, I keep on showing proof and he's just spewing stuff without showing anything, my bro. And you guys just accept it. That's why I said, I'm not defending anyone. I'm not even defending myself today. You guys will believe what you guys will believe. But ultimately, if you get scammed by him after this, that's on you. Hey everyone, are you looking to get into trading but is worried about the high risks? Let me introduce you to IFX Brokers Cent Account. With a low minimum deposit, you can start trading with real money while minimizing your risk. It's perfect for beginners and those wanting to test new strategies. Plus, you'll benefit from the advanced trading platform and dedicated support team. Start your trading journey today with IFX Brokers and turn your ambitions into reality. Check the link in my description to get started.